In today's video, we continue having a blast at the Grand Mayan at the Vedanta Resort in Nuevo Nayarit. Michelle talks me into renting jet skis with her, and we have some more amazing food and drinks on the beach. We show you how to walk to the water taxi that can take you to the other side of the marina where you can get your Starbucks fix and do some shopping. We check out a McDonald's and try some Mexican exclusive items. Then we Uber to Walmart, we pick up some really interesting Mexican snacks to try. So come along with us on another amazing vacation day at the Grand Mayan at Vedanta. Did that in like 1993. The last time I did that in the Bahamas. Yes, that's true. Within a few days. It was way scarier than I thought it was going to be because I could see a whole bunch of the lines fraying. Like they all connect to like a, a, a ring. Anyways, I survived. It was awesome. After a really solid 30 seconds of instruction that consisted of, this thing makes you go fast when you want to slow down, let go. Oh, and do not play chicken with each other. And that's a really good rule. Now, I had no idea how fast this thing was. I mean, how much could they have changed since the one and only time I tried one in 1993? So what's the first thing I do? Pin it. Pin it. See how fast it'll go. Try not to die. I mean, I paid for the vacation extended medical coverage. I mean, may as well get my money's worth. Here are some little known facts about jet skis. Did you know that Clayton Jacobson II originally designed the first personal watercraft in 1965? Did you know that jet skis can reach incredible speeds? Some models can reach over 70 miles per hour, making them one of the fastest watercraft on the sea. Now here's something I found very interesting. Did you know some of the most common jet ski injuries are? Fractures, concussions, whiplash, lacerations, broken wrists, cuts, drowning, burns, sprains, traumatic brain injury, internal injuries, damaged eardrums, organ damage, spinal cord injuries, concussions, amputations, and bruises. It's been January sometime in 2017. We came home from a trip where we were in uh, Palm Springs for three weeks and we did a whole bunch of trips to Disneyland and uh, other things. Like I went, was with my brother. So him and I did a trip down to Santa Monica and hung out and anyways, every single trip we've been on since then has been Disney. No Disney whatsoever. 2015, 2016, December through January when we went to Cabo. That's it, it's only been Disney. And not that there's anything wrong with that at all. We love it, always will love it. It's just that I think this is a good transition to this resort because it's uh, it's got a lot of little extra kind of things. Beautiful lighting and it's like there's shows and things constantly going on. And, um, but you don't have to rush. Some people are calling it the Disney of Mexico. Well, yeah, it kind of is the Disney of Mexico. Building a theme park, they've got a cruise ship. Yeah, this alone is awesome. So 
at a theme park? Okay. So got some ceviche delivered to us here on the beach. Got another tequila sunrise. It's really good. Really, really, really good. This one has um, octopus, scallops, and shrimp. And it's sort of a tomato-y sauce. It's a little different than the kind I've had before in um, Cabo. Very, very tasty. Flavorful, a little bit spicy. It's really, really good. Yum. As much as we love Disney, there's more to the world than Disney. Sacrilege! Blasphemer! So after that crazy craziness of the jet skis, kind of dumb. It was fun, but it was dumb. Um, and we did the water slides a couple of times, and had delicious lunch, and then just drank tequila on the beach for the rest of the day. We literally drank tequila sunrises until the sunset. A few moments later. Got Michelle to go to the Vedanta grocery store, the one we showed in the video the other day, and pick up some fresh ingredients. Um, I made some spaghetti. It was actually very good. Just want to say, though, the, the reason we're cooking in our room so much is that the prices at Vedanta are really expensive. Like, I get it. Um, you, you need to turn a profit, but... If, you know, if they weren't so expensive, we probably would eat more in the restaurants. Um, we've been eating like once a day in the restaurants. Like today, we had uh, drinks on the beach. Now, I had a lot of drinks on the beach, so I had six double uh, tequila sunrises. And we had a, a light lunch. It was all very good, nothing wrong with that, but I think it cost us about 200 US for that. We also got some uh, Macron from the little French bakery that was there and we tried those out. Honestly, they weren't very good. Um, I didn't like them. I've had them before. They're not my favorite, but I've definitely had them and really loved them. After that, we made some margaritas. I made some fresh mango margaritas, kind of taught Michelle how to make a margarita. And um, that was it. That was our night. How was today? Yeah. What was your favorite part? Probably the beach and the jet skis. Yeah. Yeah. That was pretty cool. That was the first time you ever did jet skis? You did pretty good. Yeah. I control somewhat at a speed. <laughs> you got a sunburn. Huh? You got a sunburn. Big time. This isn't even bad. It's just my back. I know. My face is warm too. Oh yeah, I went to go fly the drone, brought it down to the beach, which is a fair, you know, fairly good walk away if you've ever been to a resort. And um, yeah, all the batteries were dead. Not just one, but all three are dead. Good for me. The next day. Good morning. Saturday. And uh, making breakfast. Trying to make an omelette. Let's see how it goes. Well, I wouldn't really call it an omelette, and it's not quite scrambled eggs, so I don't know what it is, but... We're going to eat it. Today is Saturday and we got a letter under our door talking about checkout. Now we're here for two weeks. We're here on two different contracts and I've talked to people about this multiple times. What we're hoping is either we get moved to a room a little maybe higher up, uh, maybe facing the ocean with an ocean view. That would be super cool or just not move at all. Checkout's at 10, check-ins at 1, so we would need to sort of have a plan for the in-between time. We are out the door before noon. Today we're going to explore um, more of the marina at Nuevo Vallarta. We're going to try to see if we can get a, a water taxi just to take us across to the other side of the marina because there's a little mall. And more importantly, there's a Starbucks. So again, we're going to cut across the beach and, um, and then just head up by the Sea Garden, the other Vedanta resort. And here is our ride. Any day in a boat is a good day. So this was 25 pesos per person uh, each way. 
some pretty nice yachts. The platoons and everything. Another day, another Mexican Starbucks. You my new best friend? No, hello. We're here at the mall. Just a little mall. We have Mexican McDonald's just to see what it's like. Do they have anything unique that's only in Mexico? I mean, let's find out. It looks like they do have some unique things. Sure, just got a a Big Mac. But kind of curious to see whether Big Mac tastes any different in Mexico than it does in Canada or the United States. Cheddar bacon onion, the CBO, I believe is only available in Mexico. It's a tasty burger. Cheddar bacon onion at Mexican McDonald's, fantastic. That's the best burger. So overall impression, Big Mac is just a Big Mac no matter where you go. Which is part of the charm of McDonald's really. And uh, the signature collection that they have, very good. You like yours? Yeah. So very good, but no cheaper. No, it's not cheaper here. It's still, uh, about 25 US dollars for the three of us. It's not bad, not, not bad compared to where you know what we've been spending but not a deal so just so you know one thing to to know that you need to get used to is uh, the washrooms baño here in mexico are a little bit different most of the public washrooms you need to pay usually 10 pesos and um, some of those ones you'll need they'll give you some toilet paper I would suggest you bring your own as well, but uh, you can't flush toilet paper in most places. On the resorts and the big hotels, yeah, no problem, but uh, most other places, including here in the small, there's a, there's a garbage bin next to the toilet and that's where it goes. So it takes a little bit to get used to that. It's pretty awesome. It's just blocked right at the sidewalk. Beautiful. Love the flowers, the green. Just green everywhere. Like a frozen tundra we live on. It's a nice uh, hospital emergency room. Very close as well. Not far from that mall we were just in. And. I believe there's also a farmer's market that's held in the parking lot of this hospital. I'm just not sure when it is. We're back at Walmart. There's so many uh, very interesting snacks. What the not heck do you No clue what this is. Do you know what this is? Looks like a push pot. Leave a comment if you know what that is. And churro uh, loco. I don't know what these are. But canta fresca. I don't know. Huh. 
Interesting. They look like one of, like kind of like the spicy uh, mangoes I've been eating, maybe something, but in the candy version. Oh, these are the stuff. Never mind, they're not the stuff. Oh. Ooh, what the heck are those? Marshmallows? Raspberry and chocolate. With raspberry and chocolate. Something they don't have uh, anywhere else are the the way the bakery is set up. You walk through with a tray, pick out what you want, and then you bring it over here, they weigh it, and uh, put it in a container for you, and yeah, all kinds of stuff, and fresh tortillas. It looks awesome. They, they make the tortillas here as well. It is uh, Saturday, just about 5.20 p.m., and uh, there's a big line of people here and you'll need to expect this as well maybe a good idea you plan for this if you're coming to Vedanta Grandmaya so everyone is now dealing with their bill for so everything that you charged over the week which probably is going to be substantial if you've been eating in the restaurants and drinking on the beach they will take a thousand dollars right at the beginning when you check in so I don't know if we owe more than that, um, but I'm going to find out. Uh, I'm, there's a lot of, of uh, charges here. One of them was we had a bath, which was a big, big, huge soaker tub, and it came, we had uh, so some bath salts and some bubble bath and bath oil kind of set out, which like every other hotel we thought, oh, whatever, it's for our use. No, they charge for them. I didn't realize that until after the fact. Anyways, I'm just gonna check over a bill, and we also we're here for another week, so we're gonna try to find out if we have to move from our current room to another one. I hope we don't, but if we do, I hope it's a better room. Like the room is fine, but like maybe a better view, like on the ocean side, maybe a little bit higher up. You know, otherwise, I'd rather just stay. Our, you know, for the amount of effort because we'd have to pack everything up and you know move and we're out by 10 a.m. and then we're not able to be back in our room until 3 so you know what do we do I guess we can just hang out at the beach but anyways that's what I'm doing right now we just had our uh, leftover spaghetti which was really good <laughs> very inexpensive and now we're eating, uh, or I am, looking at our Mexican Walmart pastries. Like, I really, it kind of looks like I know what most of this is. It just looks like a pastry stick with maybe cinnamon and some nuts on it. That's, that's my choice. Whatever this is. This whole box of treats. It's only about five bucks, so it's a pretty good deal. It's good, but it could be better. It was filled with something, but it's good. Michelle just reminded us that uh, Limp Biscuit is and and Christina Aguilera are actually grandma grandma music. Wrap up music. Experimenting with Mexican snacks. I have no idea what this is going to be like. Sour. Spicy. Real gross. Terrible. I did not get that these were watermelon. Not in any way whatsoever. I, I did not like them at all. I spit it out, but how could something called Flippy not be delicious? Flippy! It's pretty big. Looks good. Mm. Reminds me of something we have in Canada. Whip it. Reminds me of a whip it. Mm.